Today I'm gonna do a makeup look inspired by the Soft Autumn color palette. So I'm sure everybody watching has heard of this idea of the color seasons, that we all have colors that work best for us and will like make us look the most healthy or, or like mitigate like dark circles and stuff. So anyway, I have previously like really delved into these seasons and been like, which one am I? And kind of obsessed over it, especially back during pandemic. <laughs> but the more I've sort of like thought about them and seen other people talk about them, the more I think the system isn't as rigid as people like to make it out to be. I have this idea to go through every single one of those color seasons, all 12 of them, and see if I can make all of them work for me. And my theory is that with makeup, in particular, when you have a full face of foundation covering up your redness and your dark circles, that you can make basically most colors work for you. Now everyone's a bit different. Of course, we all have colors that work for us more than others. So yeah, this is gonna be a 12 part series. This is part one of me trying out every single color season. And I'm gonna start with the autumn, starting with soft autumn, which is a color season I at one point thought I maybe was. I don't know. The autumn season is definitely my favorite because I'm really drawn to those colors, the warm tones, the earthy, rich, sort of muted tones. So anyway, the soft autumn season is characterized by being muted and warm, sort of neutral, and you have moderate to low contrast in your features. So just generally like desaturated warm colors. Here's a palette that showcases what works with this season. I think it's a really beautiful color palette. And if anything I've learned or like about the color seasons, it is this idea of showing where color lands on a spectrum and playing with it for like a mood. So I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona My Dream palette for this one. I think it's perfect for the autumns and I'm gonna lean into these sort of peachy pinks, reds and keep it pretty light. And yeah, I, uh, I do love this color palette. I do have foundation on already, but I'm gonna do everything else. I'm gonna start with a bronzer. I actually haven't used this one yet. It's from Rare Beauty. It's the bronzer stick in bright side. I'm just gonna go into it with my brush. I'm not really sure the payoff of this or anything, so we'll find out. This one's supposed to be a little bit cooler, like, you know how some bronzers can be like overly warm orange? Yeah, this seems like a good tone. With the soft autumn color season, because it is leaning more warm, I would definitely use a bronzer to like play up the warmth of the face and the tones. So yeah, this is actually the perfect tone for that. Very pretty. Ooh, first time, first time using it. I'm gonna bring it down my neck a little. Also, what inspired me to do this was Lately, I've been getting a lot of comments on various channels about like people asking me like what color season I am and giving their opinion on it. And some people say warm, some people say cool, some people say summer, fall, whatever. And then I'm like, am I cool toned and I don't know it? Like I hate silver. I don't like how it looks on me, but maybe I'm just, just don't like silver. I don't know, but my instinct is that I'm pretty neutral though, so. Maybe I can pull off a range of tones. You know, just sort of keeping this around the perimeters. For blush, I'm gonna go in with Danessa Myrick's Rose and Brunch. This is a neutral, yeah, I think this is gonna be perfect for that sort of soft, warm, neutrally vibe. One thing that made me um, think this whole color season thing is a lot more flexible than we like to make it out to be is like so many of the recommendations for certain seasons are like, you can't wear black, no black. And that is insane to me because I think everybody, everybody looks good in a little black dress. And for me, color is something that like you can harness and use like, Maybe it doesn't go with you in a harmonious way, but 
it can go with you in a contrasting way. Like, I think I do lean into colors that contrast with my complexion, like, and that creates an effect, if that makes sense. For the warm leaning seasons, with my brows, I'm gonna tint them to match my hair. So, using this shade from the Tarte Clay Play palette. For the most part, this is how I do my brows every day. I like to just use a soft auburn shadow and fill them in. Sometimes I'll use a pencil that's more like a taupe shade that goes with the natural tone that they are, but I'm sort of like a cheating and trying to be a true autumn, even though I don't think naturally that I am. But that's what I mean. Like, I think, uh, I think you can really lean into what feels right for you. Like, I am naturally blonde. When I was blonde, like, I didn't get as many compliments as when I've had red hair, so... I don't know, maybe your natural color isn't always the one that's gonna create the most impactful effect. So again, another reason why I think these seasons are flexible. I feel like I'm dissing the seasons thing a lot, but it I don't mean to. It's more just like I I do like to take inspo from it and it can be a fun system. And especially if you're not wearing makeup, I do think that there are certain colors you can wear that will like bring out your complexion more but yeah when you use foundation and concealer and you're already getting rid of all that redness then you're already doing half the battle of what the colors are supposed to be doing for you i'm gonna use a soft gold highlighter this shade here from the what's up beauty sumerian sunset palette highlighter palette and yeah just a soft gold because we're leaning into the warmth this color season also doesn't recommend high sparkle, more like soft sheens. To start, I'm gonna go in with this shade as a transition shade, just keeping it light, peachy. It's the shade Unity. Using a fluffy brush, diffusing it into the crease. Another thing is, I'll find like I'll start to really lean into one color season for like a couple weeks or something, but then I get bored of it. Like I, what I love about makeup so much is that every day is a new opportunity to tell a story with color. And it can be really fun to delve into the different seasons and not feel like you have to be restricted to one. Now, I do know there are some shades that I am quite afraid of, which come up under like shades that don't work well with the season, which are like lime greens and fuchsias and stuff. So it'll be fun when I get to those brighter spring seasons to see how that goes. But anyway, what's so fun about makeup is you don't have to buy a whole new wardrobe. You can mix and match colors and do some mixology and just have fun and then wash it off if it really looks that bad. I'm gonna go into a slightly deeper version of the shade, which is Carpe Diem right here. Very rosy, similar-ish to the blush. And start to add some more depth and tone. Using a smaller brush to work this into the smaller section of my eye. I wouldn't mind getting more uh, adventurous with the colors of my wardrobe. Everything's mostly black. Today I tried to wear something lighter to, to go with the softer season. I'm gonna go into this taupey shade here called Nurture on the lower lash line, depending how dark it can get. I can't remember, I might deepen a little bit more close to the upper lash line. And maybe kind of delving into those pinks to blend it a bit more. Yeah, just using like a very soft blend on the upper lash line with the taupe. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Spontaneous here for a soft shimmer. This is more like a satiny sheen. And though it doesn't recommend super glitzy uh, shimmer, I'm still gonna use a little bit of the shade Thrill here because it has a bit more of that peachy pink tone. Just a little bit on top. Whenever I place my shimmer, I like to go back in with the shadow I was using. Make sure everything looks blended and that the shimmer isn't just sitting right on top of everything. To brighten the waterline, I'm not gonna use a stark white. I'm gonna use this like pale pink lavender. It's gonna be really subtle, but in keeping with this soft theme, I think that's what's gonna work best. With the soft seasons, just always bear in mind keeping things light. Cause it's not just about the colors, it's sort of about the value and contrast of them. This makeup look is very soft for me, but I'm gonna do some lashes. Part of the recommendations is to not use like black mascara for certain seasons, which to me is just kind of wild because again, black can go with anything. It can create that contrast that's gonna make like other things stand out. So I am still gonna honor that and go with this shade Crystal from Thrive Cosmetics. It's like a very dark, dark brown. I'm gonna use this, but I'm still gonna do like a little half lash on the side, which though, though it's black, like they still blend together. You can barely even tell this is brown, but maybe it'll just add that little bit of softness that the color season calls for. So I'm gonna do that off camera and finish this off with lips. Here's the look with lashes. I do really like what the dark brown mascara does for lower lashes. It's like you can go in a little bit heavier without it feeling too harsh because my lower lashes can be kind of spidery if I go a bit overboard. So I kind of might adopt this idea of using the brown mascara on the lower lashes. Um, anyway, and also I do like the little half lashes because I, well, I always do, but with the softer looks, I think it just adds that romantic touch, you know? Now lips, I'm gonna use a combo I've used before in my life <laughs> and it's a favorite of mine. The lipstick and the gloss are warm and soft tones, but when I am using a softer lip, I do like to use a cool tone liner because it adds shape and structure that a warm pencil like can't always do unless it's a darker shade. So I'm cheating a little in that I'm creating a soft, soft shadow with endless cacao. I mean, it's cheating, but also not cheating, you know? It's like using contour. Okay, now for lipstick, this is from Rose Ink. It's the shade Graceful. It's really, really pretty warm brown. Perfect for soft autumn makeup. That is such, such a pretty lipstick shade. And then I'm gonna top it with Almond from Tower 28, just cause I think a little bit of gloss will look pretty and complement the little bit of shine on the eye. Okay, now here we are with a soft autumn makeup look. I think it's really pretty. I don't think it goes poorly with my complexion. Um, I think it looks really nice. This is the kind of look that I would do for like a professional setting. It's just soft, adds dimension. It's a little bit romantic. On my sort of everyday confident going out days, I do like to add more contrast into the look, but this is definitely an everyday look for me. Um, I'm gonna sort of just pull, pull back my hair so you can not be distracted by the red tone and like see how it looks if the tones feel like they go with my skin. So just just literally push it out of the way a little bit. I'll even just pin the bangs back for a second because what I want to examine is like how much the makeup can go with my natural coloring. 
because this is not my natural hair. Here we go. I really like it. I do really like it with the hair down. <laughs> Teddy, come here. On a side note, this guy, my little guy, he though is definitely a true autumn. <laughs> Look at him. When I when he's like against certain colors, like a sort of a muted teal or a mustard, a dark red, he looks so good. So even though I'm saying the seasons are flexible, this little guy with all his, he's just fur, he's just color, uh, he looks really good as a true or even dark autumn. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. So yeah, this is day one. This is part one of my 12 part experiment going through all the color seasons. Next, I'm gonna do the true autumn color palette. So a bit deeper with the warm tones, uh, maybe leaning into more color, like a uh, more vibrant orange. See how that goes. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this idea, what you think of the idea of the color seasons in general. In general, do you find it a little limiting? Do you like it? Uh, let me know if you've gone down the rabbit hole like I have of just like purely obsessing over it. I also have obsessed before with the Kibbe body typing system for like finding your style. And actually I found that one really helpful, but it can be confusing and you can kind of get in your own head about it and start going into Reddit threads and being like, oh my God, I don't know what's what anymore. Anyway, at the end of the day, I think it's a fun system. I think it can just be fun to be trying different colors. And, and I do think there are colors that do work for people more, um, but I do think you can also play with color and create a different effect. So Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really means a lot. And stay witchy, stay bitchy. Have a good week. 